what initiated you looking into a maintenance software and why did you choose maintenance care? Sure. Um, I serve as the general manager of Lake Junaluska Conference and Retreat Center. Mm -hmm. We um, had just lost a maintenance director, facility director after 21 years, who wow. essentially took all of the knowledge of our 52 buildings and all of our grounds with him in his head. Um, nothing was particularly written down. The PM systems were basically uh, analog and uh, self-driven. And we've had a, a, a large number of um, longtime employees in the maintenance area rotating out to retirement. And so I began to look for ways to build a system that nobody has to go through what we've been going through this past year um, and what was out there to capture that data. That's a great idea. I'm not gonna lie, that, that must've been a painful process, right? Having you lose everything and have to rebuild. Yeah, it was. I, I came from a setting in upstate New York where I oversaw six facilities statewide, and we had begun to utilize a, a different system, a competitor of maintenance care, and we had only just started implementing it when I got this opportunity in North Carolina, and I too left, relocated right before COVID, and I was intrigued enough that what I did when I got here and the maintenance director retired um, was I began, I reached out to that other company and almost immediately stuck that company into the system uh, with a great deal of hesitation from my new maintenance director, to be candid. One of the biggest issues that your platform um, struggles with has nothing to do with what you all do. It has everything to do with maintenance people who, generally speaking, want to be out doing the work. They don't think of themselves as computer people or tablet people. They want to be out fixing things, climbing ladders, building things, repairing things. And it's my type of folks that are in offices at computers. Yeah. So that whole cell job that we have to do to help them understand how it makes their job easier. Um, we ran into that regardless of what the system is, I guess I'll say. Oh, that's a fair statement. And the mobile app, no doubt, makes it a lot easier for them when they're out on the site to kind of finish up the work orders and whatnot. But I can it understand does. their pain. I've been in their situation, but when I had my cell phone on me, I had it on me all day. And whether it's scrolling through Instagram or actually doing the work, I'd much rather have them doing the work. So Sure. Yeah. Well, and we, um, you know, to go back to your question a little bit and see if I can capture a little bit more of it. Um, we implemented a different software, mostly to handle maintenance ticket items. Um, we have two hotels. We actually have three lodging areas, uh, two different hotels and a whole West end of lodging, um, not to mention an administrative building and then a more hospitality staff building. We have guests in the hotels that report maintenance issues and we have 200 staff members that report things. And it's, it's, it's the classic carrier pigeon, phone call, radio call, telephone <laughs> call, note, passing by and saying, hey, by the way, the light on the third pole from the left on the west end. Yeah. And, and it was just chaotic for the new maintenance director. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Mike. Uh, we have many more interviews coming with real maintenance managers and directors that are using maintenance care on a daily basis coming soon. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.